what is good, my anime people? What is good? Holy crap, bro. I, for a split second, forgot RME was even a titan. Look at look at Diaz over here. Look at Diaz. Someone come look at this. Someone come look at this. If you would have told me Diaz survived longer than most of these other characters, I would have never believed you. But then again, Diaz is one of the smartest characters in the entire show. Yes, let that sit in for a little bit. If you are intelligent enough to join the fight, you were dumb, right? Like, that was just a dumb move, base. But, if you were intelligent enough to stay away from said fight every single time, are you that dumb? <laughs> like, the one time we've seen this character fight was, I'm pretty sure, inside of the walls only, too. Like... Uh, and even then, he, like, buckled under the pressure. I'm pretty sure he was saved by somebody. I'm not so sure about Samuel. Um, I do remember the scene where they were saying, like, he was just, like, crying or whatever. They said some random dude crying about something. <laughs> I remember that. But I do not remember him doing really much of anything. He's probably just one of those survey members that were there, right? He wasn't even there when Connie got trapped with... Sasha and all them, and he's like, we're friends, we ate together, man. It's like, yeah, bro, and I've lived through crazier situations with multiple people. And if you all start taking different sides, that's that's it. Like you said, someone's got to get their hands dirty. And um, knowing what Aaron's doing, they were practically going to have their hands even dirtier than, if not the same amount of dirty, as Aaron because of all of the people he was going to wipe out, they would have been tallied on to them, too, in my opinion. If you allowed Aaron to go out and do this, and not only allowed it, but wanted it, right, um, does that not make you just as responsible, if not the most responsible, for not trying to stop him? You know, So I would have put all those lives on them as well as you know, the way that they are doing Aaron. Um, that being said, this is going to be brutal, man. Uh, it was cool to see the female Titan and, you know, the armor Titan popping off. But like I was saying, bro, I was actually going to get frustrated if the whole episode was them just talking about their plan of what they're going to do. I'm also kind of frustrated with the fact that uh, the Jaegerists don't, they don't trust the power of Eren, right? Um, and I guess that's for good reasons, because look at these characters that are also like, oh, he has the Founder's power, he has, you know, the, the power of the fighting Titan that he's been using this whole time that I don't think he told anyone else that he has future sight. Um, but... All of that, and they're still marching out here like they have a chance to stop him. If that is not a good indicator of, like, them just not understanding what they're truly going against, it kind of dawned on me that it really doesn't matter what anybody was trying to do at the end of the day. If you're trying to say that Aaron can't handle the situation with all the power he got, because uh, you need to protect them and protect these boats and all that stuff. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> um, I don't even think... We'll see, though. You know, I'm I'm shooting the, sh the shit right now, right? Because at the end of the day, Aaron could literally lose to Annie or something. And Annie and Ryan are together. That, that could be a thing. I don't know. Um, but what I'm saying is, if it is, it just would go to show you how much they would have to do to even be in a position to get that to happen, in my opinion. Um, they would have to be, oh crap, they would have to be well aware that even if they did win, there's still lives that could be lost at the end of the day. And I don't know how to feel about where this story 
will naturally go, but I do feel like Attack on Titan is pushing boundaries and hurting characters that really will carry it with them. Um, unlike some people like Mikasa and stuff like that, she carries it with her, but not nearly in the same way as a writer. You know, like, writer is really messed up. And I think Connie is the one who is going to take this the hardest out of everybody. Man is forced to kill two people that are truly actually his friends, and they just picked a side that he can't agree with that no one else on his side agrees with you know so i can't wait to see what happens i want to see who makes it out and can continue to tell the story of like what happened from start to finish or will those characters not even make it out because at the end of the day it's pretty brutal to live in the world of attack on titan but with that being said take care everybody have an awesome day and i'll talk to you in the next one Peace.